I did a sketch and I am obsessed. I was listening to the song that I connect to the person that I am really into, that I have very strong feelings for. I think the sketch is really emotional and the emotions that I feel for this person. It turned out so good and I'm gonna do a full ass painting about it. There is something missing. I'm going to risk it all. Painting what being in love feels like. Feeling of love is such a surreal feeling. One moment you feel a connection with a stranger. You feel this might go somewhere, yet you don't get your hopes up. You remind yourself you don't really know her, yet there's this feeling of familiarity. You continue meeting her, and before you know it, this familiarity has grown into a small part of your day. You don't want to go a day without hearing her voice. The smell of a stranger's perfume makes your heart skip a beat. Her touch makes your body ease. And you realize there's a feeling of familiarity very similar to loving someone. Yet, you don't dare think about it. It's too soon. Each day, each week, and each month pass, and you feel your walls drop. You feel yourself grow into the ease of caring for her. Her laugh makes your heart flutter. Her touch makes you sink into the warmth and electricity. It's feeling harder and harder to hide it. You can't hold your tongue anymore. Too many half-whispered sentences, too many slow blinks. The need to say those big words is too intense. You're realizing this is what being in love feels like. I am lucky enough to have this creative need to explore my emotions and thoughts through art. And as my feelings have come overtaken by love, I have had this urge to express a very specific feeling of love. And that's the connection of shared vulnerability. I'm obsessed with the idea that two people can come together and form this euphoric love. And I feel this painting has captured that feeling for me. The feeling of hugging a person you love. Feeling of heat and warmth. Warmness that nothing can cool. It's a kind of soul-aching connection. Where a thick sheet of ice can't stay frozen beneath you for your love melts all your surroundings. Through this painting, I find myself longing for the touch of a person I love. I feel the longing of being hugged and hugging her like it's the last time I will ever do. It's almost an addiction. I feel this constant need to be closer and closer and closer. Being in love is like early smells of spring, the sun dancing on your skin, recharging every nerve and cell. My body feels alive, like sparks erupt within every touch, the scent of her, her hair, her skin, her voice. The blooming of spring leaves and roses and singing tunes of flying birds like a coolness of a tree bark and the energy through which you sense the liveliness flow through. Being in love feels like Earth's most beautiful emotion. Loving and being loved. Unconditional love. Built of care, trust and honesty. That is the kind of love nothing compares to. I have been really struggling with this painting. Oh my god. Legs. They are so difficult. Like in the sketch, I was doing so great. They look great because you can really sense the volume of the two bodies. The volume just isn't there. It's like the bodies are just not connecting like they should be. I've been repainting these legs so many times and I just have to continue until I get it right because this painting really means so much to me. I really have to get this right. If I don't get this right, I'm gonna be so disappointed and so hurt. So. What's what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna continue until I get it right. That's that's.
that's the only option, guys. This painting means everything for me. It had a power over me like the oxygen I breathe. I haven't been this caught up in art making for a very long time. It's like this painting spoke through my subconscious and painted itself onto the canvas. Okay. But in all honesty, I love the feeling of being obsessed. The feeling of not being able to put down your paintbrush because you just have to finish this painting. I sometimes think about this idea of lost souls. People that suddenly die may stay on earth because they have yet to finish their business. And I sometimes think about my connection to the paintings that I paint. And if I were to die tomorrow without having finished this painting, I would be a lost soul. I've just been staring at this painting for the last 10 minutes and there is something missing. I feel that the bodies are almost finished, yet there is something missing, so I need to change something up and I've decided I'm going to paint over the river. Do you see the insanity in my eyes? There is so much work behind this, I'm going to risk it all. That being said, it's sometimes really intense doing a painting like this when it's so close to your heart. I had to rework every centimeter of this painting because it never really was enough. It never really looked finished to me until the day it was. And I was just constantly changing something up. This was finally a moment where everything was clicking, or starting to click at least, and it was amazing when I saw that this was finally working for me. When I say I spent hours upon hours trying to paint this background, I am not exaggerating. And you know, this only could have happened had I allowed myself the space to try something new to try and push myself to the boundaries of where I have been before, to try and make something completely different and something really emotional. You don't realize how hard it is being an artist until you do a painting like this, where your life seems to stop for a moment just so you can finish this one piece. And without further ado, here's the final reveal. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to be an artist full time and this is one of the ways I can make this possible. So if you like this content, I promise to give you more like this in the future. This is my passion. This is my dream. This is what I need to do. 